Bubble is a robust platform that lets you customize every corner of your application. Not only that, but there's also a lot of capability that Bubble will handle for you out of the box. There's a lot of system-based messaging and appearance properties that if you don't want to worry about it, you can let Bubble handle it for you. But there are a few areas that are standard that you should take a moment to review and customize so that you can make things more personalized for your users, give them a better experience, and in general, stand out more. The first area is system messages. Now, Bubble has a huge library of system messages that you can customize and override if you don't like the appearance of those messages or the wording of those messages. These system messages will appear automatically for your users for things like um, account configurations. So if a user has signed up or if they entered in the wrong password, so these could be confirmations or error messages. Um, if you have installed Bubble's Stripe plugin for payments, there's many different system messages around all Stripe functions. So you can customize these messages within the languages setting of your editor. You can also override the way that these messages appear to your user by working with Bubble's unhandled error workflow events. Take the time to look through these because again, you can change the way that they look for your users so that they're more consistent with the rest of your application. The next area is sending emails with templates. Bubble has a built-in integration with SendGrid so that if you don't want to uh, worry about connecting to an email service provider yourself, this is already out of the box functioning for you. All you have to do is create an account with SendGrid and put your API key into your email settings and you'll be able to send emails from your custom domain. But still, if you send an email using Bubble's send email action, they're gonna be plain text emails. Now there's nothing wrong with that, but if you want to personalize things a bit more, you can set up a dynamic template with SendGrid. You'll get a template ID, and then you can put that ID into your email settings as well. And then all of your emails can be sent with that template if you choose. Now you can, of course, take this concept much further. You don't have to use Bubble's built-in integration with SendGrid to send emails. You can create your own custom connection to a different email service provider if you choose with the API connector, or you can take advantage of one of the many plugins out there that help you do that as well. The point is, is you don't have to use Bubble's built-in plain text email system. You can connect to other services to create a richer email experience for your users. The next out of the box capability that Bubble has for you is the 404 page. This is one of your built-in pages that every application comes with. This is your error page. If a user tries to navigate to a page name that doesn't actually exist on your domain, then Bubble is going to automatically redirect them to this 404. Don't forget about this page. This is something that we bring up with our clients frequently to uh, remember to come in here and design this. There's a placeholder there with uh, references to Bubble. Um, it's a very simple uh, design that says, you know, oops, you've landed on the wrong page. Take a moment to redesign this so that it matches the rest of your application. In fact, I encourage you to add a button to this page to help your users get back to safety. Have that button redirect them back to your index, to your login page, wherever is most appropriate for your users from there. This next area is one of my favorites because it can add a lot of personality to your app, not to mention stay consistent with the rest of your app's tone. We're talking about maps. If you add Bubble's map element to your design canvas, you're really embedding a Google map and you're going to get Google's default style. It's the road view, but the property editor for this element will let you change uh, whether you want to see a satellite view or a terrain view or a hybrid, um, you can also change to some of the preset styles that are there. So they have some that are more minimal, that are blue in color, that are gray in color. There's lots of different options there. But I also want to call out that there is a custom option from that list where you can add in your own fully customized map style. We like going to snazzymaps.com to pull from a giant library of free styles or even building our own style from there. The ability to customize your map style is something that we don't see get taken advantage of enough. So take a look at the different options there and you know give your users a better, more personalized experience by having a tone to that map that is going to match the rest of your app. 